Let's grab a thumbnail real quick, 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 quick. There it is. There she blows right there, and blow does she ever. Welcome back to the Pick Jimmy Cigar Review. You can call me DJ, and today we're taking a look at the number one cigar of 2019. It's the Aging Room Floor Cuatro Nicaragua in, uh, what's this one? It starts with an M. I don't know, it's a torpedo. Let's get it! So, I was visiting my local tobacconist, and, uh, I wanted to get a cigar, as you would do when you go there. And uh, see this cigar? See this cigar from across the room waving at me. So I go on, I walk over to the cigar waving at me, as it is interesting to have a cigar wave at you from across the room. And I look at it, and it looks pretty nice. Nicaraguan. I like Nicaraguan cigars. Pick it up, take a look. Looks pretty good. Wanted to spend about 10 bucks. It was about 10 bucks. Had yet to smoke an aging room on the, uh, did I say aging room floor? Let's check the tape. Keen, it's the aging room floor. Keen, it's the aging room floor. Keen, it's the aging room floor. Quattro. So anyways, I saw the cigar across the room and waved me over and I went, hey, I haven't, haven't smoked one of these before. I think they're supposed to be good. I don't know, the band kinda looks a little bit like the CAO Flathead. No relation, I'm sure, but I thought it was interesting looking. I thought it was funny as a designer. Um, and 99.9% sure the font on here, if you can see it for their logo, is called Bleeding Cowboy. If it's not Bleeding Cowboy, it's a damn close representative ripoff uh, amalgamation modification. It's close to Bleeding Cowboy. Sure enough, pull the old Google out, take a look. Boom! 2019 Cigar of the Year by Cigar Aficionado. Uh, an audio. An auto. Uh, don't know what that means to you. Not a lot to me. In order to tell you more, we gotta stop yapping and start smoking. Ooh. Creamy. Instantly regret doing that. With the clippy, I don't like that feeling at all. Hmm. Hold. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That is, that is not good. I'm hoping I have a problem. Cause if I don't have a problem, and this is the way the cigar is supposed to taste, and it was cigar of the year in 2019, 2019 sucked. I don't know if this is even good to do. I'm gonna do, oh, fuck, fuck, it's my, my cigar, it's my cigar, it's my cigar, it's my cigar, it's my cigar. If you can't tell, one of those days. <laughs> okay. It's a creamy cigar. It is not sweet. It is acidic. It is acidic earth. And because it's all pointy and shit, because of the torpedo, it's like, that's why I had to cut it more. It was like, like, like a, a strong, like, okay, spray bottle. You got the mist and you got the jet. It was a jet of acid, acidic earth on my tongue. Nasty as shit. Um, I'm gonna try and cleanse my palate one more time. Cause that was obviously a joke. But here's the tasting note so far. Rich, acidic earth. It's creamy. It is not sweet. Mmm. I have to have a bad copy. I, that this has to be. It's so bad. Mm. Mm. All right, I have brought balance back to the force. Let's try it again. better. 
It's not great. Much better. This room stinks. I just lit this cigar and it stinks in this garage. Um, garage door is down. I'm about to crack it. It's raining outside. But, ooh, too bad. It's too bad in here. This cigar. Let's talk about it. On lineup. Unimpressed. That was nasty. That was, it was, it was the tingly feeling of putting a D battery, you know, when you connect the two and you put it on your tongue to test it. To test it, you can't wink in sunglasses, can you? To test it, you know what I mean. Um, but the flavor was salty, acidic dirt. I don't know about you, but personally, I do not smoke cigars for salty, acidic dirt. It's creamy, salty, acidic dirt now. And the acidity is much less. Um, it's a little peppery, it's a little creamy, it's a little sweet, a little bit of chocolate notes have come in now. Don't know if it was my palate of the cigar, I'm still getting a little bit of the acid from this little uh, torpedo tip here, so it definitely was partly the cigar. Don't know if something was lingering on my tongue or not, but um, purging that shit should not produce a flame immediately after light up. That's bad. Typical problem I have with, with uh, torpedo tips is not a lot of smoke production. Um, this one was rated a 94 or a 96. I probably said it in the voiceover. Whichever it was, this cigar, right next to it was a non-torpedo version and it was like three points lower. So I went ahead and picked the one that was actually Cigar of the Year. I wanted, I wanted to smoke what was the best according to Cigar Aficionado, in 2019. Tasting notes are okay. They have improved. They are getting better as the cigar is smoking, which is good because, uh, how? Um, very creamy cigar. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, sweet like milk chocolate. A um, Little bit of pepper on the nose, very little. Rich still, still very rich. My favorite cutter. A little silver one came with a humidor I bought. That is what I'm sucking on right now. First time I said that on camera. <laughs> Copyright claim. Kids don't try this at home. You can fuck up your sugar. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. You know what? Actually, I think I have. Did, did I use one of these? Suck! Torpedo must be the way. Torpedoes suck. Torpedoes suck. Still no smoke. What I am getting from this cigar. The ash fell off. I bonked on something. Probably not my. <laughs> so what I am getting from this cigar, what little, I, so what little I am getting from this cigar is good flavors now, after it's been cut twice, purged, and aerated. The flavors are pleasant. They're creamy. They're a little chocolatey. They're a little peppery. They're a little rich earth. They're nice spices in Nicaragua. It's a little weak. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the acidity is high, the punchiness. See, I like Nicaraguan puros, or puros, as you were supposed to say, um, because they're punchy. They punch you. They punch you with flavors. They smack you in your mouth. They let you know that, hey, this is a Nicaraguan puro. Um, and the problem with this, to me, is it's not doing that. If you want to slap the word Nicaragua on a band, it better be Nicaragua. But the reason I don't love it is because I think I got a dud. And that's not really fair to the cigar, it's not really fair to aging room, but it is my experience, because here's the thing. Anyone could have gotten this cigar. What? But anyway, I'm gonna smoke this probably deep. We going all the way to the band on this one, unless there's a significant change of fantasticness, then I'll let you know. But otherwise, because of the length of this video and how much reamoring we've already done, see you to the band. <laughs> At the end of 2019, we were all saying farewell 2019, it can't get any worse, and then 2020 happened, so maybe, Maybe 2019 really did suck, but 2020 was so bad we forgot. 
Um, because this is just, okay, when it's good, because it, ha it has flashes of goodness, okay? Not greatness, but it has little blips of goodness. And it's a very oily cigar. Coats your mouth in oil, and the flavor is a bit like a milk chocolate, a bit. So it's kind of like having, um, okay, you know how oily peanut butter is? You know how oily natural peanut butter is? It'll coat your mouth in that amount of oil. Or think of like you're having Thai food and you get a peanut dish and that kind of oil that goes in your mouth. This is what, that's what the cigar does. It's that oily. It's a very creamy, oily texture on the draw. There's a little bit of pepper on the retro hill, but very, very little. Um, and every now and then you get a nice burst of sweetness. Almost like a like a date, almost like a you know like a dried fruit, one of the, like a fig or a date, something interesting like that. But nothing really phenomenal. That's when it's good, and like I said, those are little blips. Okay, the majority of the time it's still mineral, acidic, earth. If if you've had this aging room cigar and you thought it was phenomenal, please tell me in the comments down below what you liked about it. Because for me, for me, for my palate, for this stick specifically, it's mineral. It's like gross mineral water that you rolled up and put into a cigar. And it is not for me, it's not enjoyable. And it should sure as shit had not have been a $10 cigar. But uh, I'm gonna keep smoking on it, I'm gonna weather that storm, I'm gonna burn through this band here, take it off, I'm gonna use my special um, TikTok non-approved cigar poker. And we're gonna smoke this thing all the way down and get every bit of flavor out of it because I'm gonna find the good flavors and I'm gonna tell you all about it. We did it, y'all. We did it. We made it to the band. <laughs> Shit, man. It's so loose. Slide that one off. This one, a little burnt here. At least the bands came off clean. Um, yeah, I just... Cigar hasn't the cigar hasn't transitioned at all, however, it has gotten more pleasant. I have purged it four times. Four times. Um, and when I do, the flavors, okay, the flavors change because they do get better, but as far as what comes back to be better is the same. So this cigar is very consistent throughout. When it is good, it's that kind of figgy, sweet, chocolatey, a little peppery, earthy, minerally cigar. When it's bad, the mineral flavor just ramps right up to a friggin' 12, and that's all you taste. I'm back to getting a little smoke. So first half, third, so first third, little to almost no smoke. Second third, after clipping it and cutting it and clipping it and cutting it and then just flattening the thing, loads of smoke in the second third. As we've gotten the third, the third third, the final third, we're back to the minimal smoke. I don't know why. Um, it, there, it's not like a knot appeared after again, it just, it's not burning great. Um, it, it is burning great. The line has never been bad. I've never had to touch up the cigar. The ash does fall off at about an inch, half an inch to an inch chunks. Um, so it's not beautiful ash, it's not a nice long ash, at least not for me in my copy. But the tightness, it's, it's, it's too tight. And I'm not gonna cut it anymore because I mean I'm well into the shoulder at this point. But when I do get a nice draw, um, it's those flavors, and then every now and then a nice kind of roasted, toasted, slightly bitter walnut pops up as well, which is pleasant. So if I got the good flavors throughout the entire cigar, I think it'd be a good cigar. I think it'd be worth. Not $10, but in the 7 to $10 range. I think it fits into that flavor profile of quality. Um, burn is good. The draw sucks. Uh, maybe that's just this copy specifically, you know, this version of the cigar. But I would nowhere, nowhere would I ever think that, pick this up and go, greatness. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the nub. Because it's... When it is good, it's nice. It's nice. Not ten dollars nice. Not cigar of the year nice. At least not to me. But hopefully, if you try this cigar, you get a better copy than I did, and you enjoy it. I'm gonna keep on smoking it. I'll probably purge it one more fifth and final time, and smoke it to the end. And hopefully, another spark, another blip of goodness will come back into the flavor fold. Because right now, 
we're back to Bitter Town, and uh, I don't like being in Bitter Town. So, I'm gonna smoke this, I'm gonna end the review here. But as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ. I'll see you in the next video.